each uh, national president during their term chooses a theme to, um, I think, to launch and to frame all of the work that they like to do. And I struggled for a very long time. Uh, the past president said, kept telling me, you need to think about this, what is going to be your theme. So I prayed on it and I thought about it a very long time. And I don't think that we can do anything in life without the motivation of God through the Spirit. Mm -hmm. And so that's where it started. And I look at all of the women that do so much work in the Catholic Women's League, and I think that's what they're doing. They're responding to the work of the Spirit in their lives. Mm -hmm. They do it so generously, always on deck to do whatever needs to happen. And I think that epitomizes who the Catholic Women's League are. Mm -hmm. They're advocates for those that can't speak for themselves. They reach out in so many ways. Mm -hmm all across the country. Mm -hmm. So that was where the uh, the inspiration came from. Mm -hmm. And then from that, I really spent a lot of time reading scripture and finding passages that spoke to me about um, how I could develop that theme. And then from the theme, I, I, I created a prayer. And there were three parts, three phrases to the prayer. And the first part, I thought, before we can do anything, mm -hmm we have to know that we're unconditionally loved by God. So that was the first part of the prayer. And the second part of the prayer deals with the gifts of the, of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that we respond to those gifts, and that's why, um, well, from the theme, mm -hmm. and you know that if uh, the gifts of the Spirit are present, then they will exhibit themselves in the fruits of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. So our women will be kind, they will be generous, they will be patient, they will be all of those things that God is calling us to do mm -hmm. that we are already doing, mm -hmm. but it just puts a spotlight on it. Now, uh, what are some of those areas then that, uh, that the women are, um, are focusing on, are, are particularly concerned about right now? The last couple of years, actually, there's been a really strong focus on palliative care. Part of it uh, was in response to uh, legislation that was going through with regard to medical assistance and mm -hmm. dying but a larger part of that was the desire for our women to reach out and to walk with people that are at end of life stages and so um, from that was born the idea to have a special focus day on uh, palliative care and to ask people to pray so that there were lots of resources that were generated uh, sent out from national office and posted on our website so that anyone could use them. As a matter of fact, those resources were responded to by people even in, um, in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. So they, they were really, really well received. We had petitions, mm -hmm. and uh, but mostly it focused on getting ourselves back to the bedside to walk with people that need to have that kind of extra care. Mm -hmm at end of life. So palliative care has been big. We've been involved with many other things too. Pornography has always been a concern, or any pornography really. And um, outreach to uh, developing countries, we're very, very strongly involved in development and peace. Cody Institute, which the Catholic Women's League supports, uh, bring women in from developing countries to educate them to go back home and develop their own their own people so all of these outreach programs and it doesn't matter whether they choose these national programs or they find programs at home in their own communities mm -hmm. but women are are reaching out touching other women touching other brothers and sisters around the world